Hi and welcome. This is a quick tour of Tawa for Windows. Let's start with the services view. If you have an account on GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab or Visual Studio, you should connect it with Tawa here. You get a listing of all your repositories in these accounts. With the clone button, you can download a repository to your default cloning directory, which you can change in Tawa's preferences. This makes cloning a matter of just a single click. And you can also easily create a new repository right in your account. The Repositories view shows all of your local repository bookmarks. Adding an existing repo from your local disk is easy. Just drag and drop it from Explorer. And of course, you can create folders to organize your bookmarks. Let's open a local repository for working. You can simply double click it here, or you can use the quick open dialog, and then start typing any part of a repository's name. That's it. This is Tower's working copy view. Here's where you see all of your current modifications in your project. Select the file to see a diff of the exact changes. To stage changes for the next commit, you can simply hit the spacebar or click the status checkbox. If you want to stage or discard only parts of the changes, either stage a whole chunk or select individual lines here in the line numbers column. And you can stage or discard them individually. To actually make a new commit, you can simply enter a message and confirm. You can switch between a couple of view options here. You can have the items displayed in a tree structure, either including even non-modified files or only the ones that are currently changed. The history view shows the commit log of your project. If you only want to see the history of a specific branch or tag, simply select that item in the sidebar. You can also choose your favorite view options here. The right side here shows the details of the selected commit in the list. You can expand any change here to see the diff, or use your favorite external diff tool. The tree tab here shows you the project's complete file tree at this point in time. That's great for opening or restoring historic versions of a file. Just a quick note on those little arrow icons here and here. This tells you about any unsynced commits, commits that haven't been pushed or pulled yet. Also note that Tower has a so-called auto-fetch feature. It regularly checks in the background if there's new stuff on the remote server. Thereby you should always be up to date. Let's take a closer look at the sidebar. Try dragging a branch around a bit. You can merge it, publish it on a remote, push it, and this also works for remote branches and tags. Of course, you can achieve all of this with the toolbar buttons, the contextual menus, or with the keyboard shortcuts too. You can also check out a different local branch simply by double-clicking it in the sidebar, or by choosing the branch in the working copy view. And you see another very helpful feature here, auto-stashing. There are a couple of situations in Git where a clean working copy, so no local changes, is better or even required. Git stash feature allows you to put your local changes on a clipboard. And Tower makes this easier by automatically offering to do this for you, when you pull, merge, or check out a branch while having local changes. You find these changes in the stashes section, and can inspect or discard them, and most importantly, reapply them. Tower has a very helpful conflict wizard. First, it's good to know you can always use the abort button to start over, so there's nothing to fear. When selecting a conflict file, the right side visualizes the conflict nicely. You see which two versions clashed exactly, from which commit and which branch they came and can then solve the problem visually. You can choose one version to be the correct one, or edit a combination of the two in a merge tool. I hope this gets you started. We have a great help section that you can reach right from within the app. And we even offer a complete course on learning Git with Tower, for free. Enjoy using Tower.